All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's growth call for BISC for the week of August 1st. My name is Steve Jane. We have these growth calls every week at this time to discuss how the BISC network has been doing and to discuss current priorities for the project. Uh, for this call, as always, uh, feel free to post comments in the Zoom chat here uh, or on Slack as we proceed, and I'll try to respond as I can. The uh, agenda is usually on GitHub. There is a thread for this thread. I didn't update it with the, uh, with the agenda for today. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I have a uh, collection of slides, about five slides, to, uh, to walk through for the call. So you don't have to stare at me the whole time. You can actually see the numbers we're talking about and a little bit about each topic. There isn't a whole lot to talk about on this call, but um, we'll try this new format out and see how, see how it works. High level overview for the call, we're gonna talk uh, as always about market, uh, the market volume for the past month since July just ended. Uh, it was a pretty good month. We'll go over numbers in just a second. And then we'll go over efforts to uh, promote, translate and promote BISC in Japan, which uh, uh, has been going extremely well with the, the help of Wiz and Tadahiro. Uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. We'll go over some uh, community efforts to promote BISC in other countries through Twitter and other community generated accounts. And talk a little bit more about translations and then um, end with, the, uh, with a quick note on the DAO. Cycle three is ending next week. So let's go over to the slides so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, share screen, present. Okay, now hopefully you guys can see this, this slide is a snapshot of the spreadsheet that keeps track of trading volumes throughout the month. Uh, you can see for July 2019 ended with well over 2,000 trades, 2,217 trades in the month for a total of 1,651 Bitcoin traded and a daily average Bitcoin volume of 53. 53.26. All the numbers are quite strong uh, in relation to the past several months. Um, obviously, a bit of a drop, a bit of a drop from uh, from June, but but June was a was a was an incredible month. So um, overall, a very strong month, and um, yeah, not much to say there. The numbers kind of speak for themselves. Welcome, SQ. Just saw you just joined. Um, all right, I think that's, that's, that's really all there is to say about the volume. You can find the spreadsheet itself on, I believe there's a link in, in the docs where you can see the whole spreadsheet for yourself uh, on a monthly basis, on a monthly, uh, month by month basis, on a monthly basis, and then on a daily basis, I believe trades are also listed there um, for you to see. Next item, Japan. So um, huge, huge thanks to Wiz and uh, TDHR on, uh, on Twitter. Tadahiro, I believe, is his full name. Um, they worked through the weekend. This past weekend, they worked uh, stop, uh, what, what am I trying to say, without, um, without pause uh, through the weekend and, and hammered out a full, I think, 80% of the translations for the BISC software to get it into the hot fix release that we had this past week. And um, in time to present it for the, uh, to the Bitcoin hackers meetup in Tokyo on, on Thursday. So this is a snapshot of the, of the event, of the presentation that was given, and a tweet by none other than Nicolas Dorier, who was seemingly impressed with the presentation. I would imagine he's a tough person to impress, so it was good to see that. Um, and I believe Wiz is, is in touch with the, the number of uh, community members to, uh, to really jumpstart a market in Japan, possibly China. So uh, really excited to work with them more and, uh, and, uh, and really hope to uh, you know, see some of the Eastern Asian markets take off. 
And a couple, a couple people join. Peter, Juan, welcome. Uh, as always, feel free to jump in if you, if you want. Uh, I'm just going to continue on the agenda, but uh, if you have something to say, just, uh, just jump in. Also this week, we saw a small handful of community-driven accounts pop up. So um, France, Japan, and Portugal now have their own community-managed accounts. Um, Japan was, I believe, to communicate in Japanese to uh, the hopefully growing BISC user base. Uh, started the French account. And um, another uh, contributor, uh, I believe, uh, started the Portuguese one, um, which is actually up for, um, I don't think he really wants to run it. So if you are Portuguese or if you'd like to reach out to the Portuguese population user base, uh, feel free to reach out and um, he'd be happy to hand it over to you if you'd like to run it. But really good to see community-driven efforts to promote the software. Um, as, as we mentioned on Twitter a couple days ago, this is not going to be, um, uh, you know, the, the promotion efforts or publicity, whatever you, know, whatever you want to call it, is not going to be centrally driven or we don't want it to be centrally driven forever. We'd like it to be a community driven effort, just like development and, and every other aspect of the software. So it's good to see it starting now. Next item, I think this is second to last item, is translations. Uh, I just merged a fix to the language selector on the website to uh, enable uh, language picking on mobile. Uh, I think that was the second to last bug that was remaining, that was kind of holding up website, website translations, further website translations from being merged. Uh, the only remaining one uh, or only remaining issue is the uh, the images not showing up correctly uh, on certain pages, which is relatively minor. I think with this PR merged for the language picker, we can now proceed with other languages. So I'll be working with Huey on that. And yeah, I mean, just big shout out to Huey for, for doing this, uh, spearheading the effort to put in place the infrastructure to translate the website, to translate the website with that in place now we can do more and more languages as they're done. So that is that. And then the only other note I have is that the, uh, the DAO, the cycle three, and is it cycle three or four? I might have the wrong number here. I should know this. The current cycle ends next, at the end of next week. So it's supposed to be blocked 589386 projected to be about August 10th. Um, might change a little bit, but that's the projected end of the current cycle. So make sure you get in your proposals, compensation requests, whatever it is you have that you want to include in the current DAO cycle in before that block. And that's all I think I have. That's the last slide. So uh, anyone want to? Have any questions, comments, suggestions? I'm going to stop my screen share. Yes, hello, Steve. Hi, Juan. This is Juan Tellez. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm a little, little late. Uh, I, I saw about the Twitter for, for some countries. Uh, uh, do you have plans to make a, anyone, any Twitter account for Mexican or Spanish or Latin America? Um, I don't have plans. I mean, but if you'd like to, or if you know people who'd like to become involved in such an effort, then uh, by all means, it's welcome. Okay, because I, I was thinking uh, some months ago to to make the the, the Facebook page uh, to make some 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 diffusion of the project. Yeah. Uh, but but maybe I, I can I can make a a, a a Facebook page for for Spanish spoken people uh, and and also also a Twitter. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, so yeah, I guess it depends on the population, the kind of uh, which whichever one you think would do better, or I mean, both both would be good too. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, feel free to to go ahead, and I mean, I'll you know I can use the. Um, 
the uh, the you know the, the main Twitter account to try to promote it a little bit and you know to get you more um, more attention. Okay, okay, to good. Start out with yeah. Very good. Yep. Any uh, any other topics uh, you guys would like to cover? Cool. Hey, wait a couple more moments for any other lingering items, and then. All right, folks. Well, thank you for joining. I guess we'll call it a wrap. And yeah, thanks for joining. And uh, we'll see you again for the next call next week. Take care.